when I put on my apron. You know I'm serious about this thing. Hey everybody, it's Kyla Kanzager and I am just that endo mom living beyond my pain. And today we are going to finish talking about salad dressing. Okay, so the last video I kind of left you guys with was the actual salad. And I had this video ready to go about salad dressings, but then when I replayed it, I really realized that we need to go a little bit deeper. So the main reason why I'm doing this video this way is because one, you'll find that there are a lot of things in the salad dressings on the shelves that just don't really do anything for us. We think that we're doing something healthy for ourselves by making a salad, and then we pour on this dressing that is full of ingredients that we really don't need. So one thing that you find in salad dressings a lot that is horrible for us is soy. Um, you'll see dressings that have soy sauce in them, soy gum, just soy, 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 soy. And a lot of people might say, what exactly is wrong with soy? Well, when you have endometriosis, soy is actually something that is <laughs> horrible for your endo. Soy is something that feeds your endo and can inflame your endo, and it is by rule of thumb to stay away from soy, which is really hard when you're trying to become a vegan or a vegetarian because a lot of dishes have soy in it. So that's number one. You wanna stay away from the soy, and the thing that I found throughout my journey is that I think that I'm doing something healthy by making a salad and then I pour on my salad dressing because it's quote unquote healthy and it's actually doing the opposite. It's always better to kind of just make your own salad dressing. It's really simple, it's really easy and today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do it. Okay, you ready? Let's get started. When I put on my apron, you know I'm serious about this thing. Okay, so um, simple ingredients. One is you need an oil, and a lot of homemade dressings will call for like an olive oil. I'm actually gonna be using an avocado oil. So I'm using an avocado oil instead of an olive oil. But if you don't have avocado oil, you can always use olive oil. I just prefer avocado oil because avocados have amazing fats in them. That is great for endo. Two other bases that you need for your salad dressings is a white wine vinegar and then a red wine vinegar and then a balsamic, depending on how you want to roll, right? Okay, so we're gonna get started with these really simple salad dressings. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna make is a basic vinaigrette dressing. Really simple, simple ingredients and something you probably have in your cupboard. You have five ingredients. You have your red wine vinegar, your Dijon mustard, your salt, your pepper, and your avocado oil or olive oil. Got it? Five ingredients. So we're gonna add two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. If you can buy all of your ingredients organic, that'd be great. Um, but if you can't, just try to stay away from ingredients that have GMO in them, because that's just extraness that we just don't need in our life, okay? Two. Then I'm gonna do two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. And I'm honestly not a fan of Dijon mustard by itself, but in a great dressing, life. Right. So I have my Dijon mustard. I'm gonna add one third cup of oil. So I'm adding one third cup of avocado oil. And I actually bought this big thing of avocado oil from Costco's. So, you know, no matter where you are in your budget life, you can find the things that you need. And also my red wine vinegar and my honey Dijon mustard, I got that from Whole Foods online using Amazon. And you'll be surprised, those prices are actually a lot lower than just going to the regular store. And then we're going to add our salt and our pepper, and you can use that as 
vigorously or as minimally as you choose. I mean, I'm just kind of eyeing my salt and pepper and you can use grounded salt and pepper or grounded pepper. I mean, you can ground your salt too, but you can use it grounded as well if you would like. And then the great thing I love about my mason jars, I put my lid on and I do a little shake. And then we're good to go. my little taste test here. Mm. Mm. Tastes delish. So again, five simple ingredients that you probably have in your house or you can grab and it's a lot easier and healthier. Right. So that is our dressing number one. So dressing number two is we're taking our vinaigrette base and just kind of adding a little more flavor to it. So we're gonna make a balsamic vinaigrette. I love balsamic. Our balsamic vinaigrette has about like six ingredients if you include the salt and pepper. So again, we already have our base for our vinaigrette. Now we're just gonna add the balsamic and a little bit of honey and texture to it just to give us an, another feel for our dressing. All right, let's do it. So starting with another mason jar, we're gonna add a half cup of avocado oil. Just pour that right on in. Then we're gonna do one fourth cup of balsamic. I love a good pumpkin balsamic. Two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. And the other thing I love about these mason jars is it's just great for traveling too. So if you are somebody like me that takes your salads for lunch, I usually just keep my mason jar worth of salad dressing in the jar and then take it to work with my salad. Then we're gonna add a clove of garlic chopped up. Garlic is one of those things that as an Indo girl I try to put on absolutely everything between garlic and ginger anyway and anyhow I can put it in my life and my food I will now I know a lot of girls who use or take the garlic supplements I'm not really a garlic supplement type of girl because I just love to put it in my food but I would I think I, I probably should let me know if you do and how you like that. But yeah, definitely feel like garlic is just one of those things that is just full of great nutrition that all of us need. All right, so I'm gonna add in my chopped clove of garlic. Got my hands all garlicky now. Mm. And then we're gonna add one tablespoon of honey. Let that honey drip down in there. And then lastly, we're gonna add our salt and pepper. Dripping, still dripping, still going. <laughs> All right, gonna add our salt and pepper. And again, one tablespoon will be good. You can definitely eye it depending on your taste and your flavor. Put my lid on. And then I shake it. It's a little shaking party, right? 
I'll be honest with you, I'm gonna add a little bit more wasabi. I like wasabi. And you can do that too, just depending on your taste buds. I'm just a wasabi girl. It makes me happy. That wasabi vinaigrette. So that is our balsamic vinaigrette. So again, we made our base vinaigrette. So this is a simple Dijon mustard, red wine, salt and pepper, oil mix, right? And then with our balsamic, instead of using red wine, we use balsamic, and then we added a little honey to get that little thickness and all the other ingredients from our vinaigrette. Let's move on. <sighs> All right, so getting a little bit more sophisticated with our taste and with our dressings, we're gonna whip up a peanut lime dressing. 